Good morning, everyone. It's Miss Finnegan here, and today is Thursday, April 16th, and it is the 18th day of flexible learning. So let's get started today like we do every day with today's quote of the day. This one is short and sweet, but something I really like. Today's quote is, yes, you can. I love this quote because it's something that we re need to remember that yes, we can. Anything we put our minds to, we can do it. So when you think, I can't do this, or I'll never be able to achieve this, I want you to think, yes, I can, because yes, you can. So I love that quote today. Let's take a look at something new that you are going to be seeing in our agenda slides today. Up here, there's an agenda slide that says attendance, Friendship Friday survey. When you click on the survey today for your attendance, there's going to be a message for me talking about Friendship Fridays, where we are going to start being in groups for our Friendship Friday via Google Meet. So you're going to write your name, but you're also going to read this message and think about three to five friends that you might want in a small Google Meet group. So what that means is a small group of kids, I will put in a group for a break that break part of your Friday. So we won't be doing any learning or any academic work. We're just going to be chatting, catching up and seeing our friends. So during that break time, you might want to have a snack with me or just take a couple of minutes out of your day to relax and chat with me and some of your friends. So in that box, after you do your attendance and put your name, you're going to think of hmm, who are some of my buddies that I really miss. Now it's okay. Some of you might be thinking I miss everybody. Pretty soon, we're also going to be starting Monday morning meetings, where we just take 10 to 15 minutes to say hi in the morning to start off our week, now that we're allowed to do our video chat, okay? So, I want to show you what that will look like. Once I get all of the groups together, I'm going to be sharing with you a slideshow called Google Meet Video Chats. And inside the slide, you're going to look for your name. So, for Friendship Friday, there's going to be Group 1, Group 2, group three, and group four. I will be writing names inside the groups. For example, let's say I made a group like this. Hi, Jonah, Akarsh, Jeremy, and Same. If you see your name, you know that you're in that group. And then you might have the 1030 time. And then once it's your time, this link will turn blue and you'll be able to click it for a live video chat. Now, that was just an example. That's not my real group, unless all of those buddies want to meet together and that just happens to work out that way. So you're going to have the responsibility on Friday morning to check. Are you the 1030 group? Are you the 11 group? Are you the 1130 group? Are you the 12 o'clock group? Okay, so that's going to be something I'm really excited about. So let's just take a look at our agenda for today so we can see what we're working on. In reading today, you're going to be doing more vocabulary work. So if you did happen to choose to skip your vocab work, that's okay because it's supposed to be building on yesterday's work. You can just pick three new words today if you didn't do yesterday's, if you used your reading task yesterday. If you did yesterday's work, then here's what you're going to do. You're going to look at the vocab words you picked yesterday and you wrote sentences about, and you're going to think about how those vocabulary words relate your story. So my vocab words were elated, parcel, and wretched. So when I thought about those words, elated, which means very happy, this relates to my book because Harry was always elated when he was united with his friends. I'm thinking of Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Also, Harry Potter received many parcels, I'm going to bold that word, which are small little packages when owls flew into Hogwarts. Wretched relates to my story because Snape was an awful and wretched teacher. So I just basically named where I saw those words in my story and told how it related to the story, like where it was used or maybe it is used many times in your story. So that's what you'll be doing for after or before you choose to read for 30 minutes. And don't forget, everyone needs to catch up on James and the Giant Peach. You ha should have listened to all the chapters by Monday because we're going to talk about it in our Monday morning meeting Google Meet. Okay, let's say that 10 times fast. Monday morning meeting Google Meet. Monday morning meeting Google Meet. Monday morning meeting Google Meet. 
so good. Okay, let's move on to writing for today. Today, we are going to be writing subtopic two and subtopic three. You all did an excellent job writing your subtopics with a lot of detail. There are two new videos if you like to watch my mini lessons. I take you through my next two subtopics on wolves. So if you're having trouble clicking on these, Hi everyone, it's Miss Finnegan. I want to give you a, a tip. If you put it in present, now my video is done. The red uh, YouTube arrow will pop up and it's easier. Hi everyone. If you're ever having trouble playing your video in the slideshows, put it into present mode and then it will be easier to do. So you have to do subtopic two and three. So I want you to pace yourself and think, wow, writing is kind of a big day for me today. So it might actually be a good day if you haven't already used your reading pass. You might want to do that today. Just something to think about. Okay, let's take a look at math for today. Math is going to be more multiplication and division diagrams. So make sure that you're adding each part of the diagram, the number model, and the answer. And of course, don't forget that you also have a warm-up for today. And I have a little mini lesson where I'm going to show you two examples of division and multiplication number models. Okay? And then, of course, you'll get down to your games. And when you, it's game time, you know that you will stop when you're finished. Um, I will be there in the comments to help you if you feel like this is a little bit tricky. Some of my students yesterday were saying that they wanted to do a Google Meet to help with the math lesson. If you're struggling in math and you would like to do a Google Meet, I am meeting with a few students tomorrow at 11 o'clock. So if you are one of those students who are already thinking, Ms. Finn, I'm having trouble in math. Can you meet with me at 11 o'clock too? I will do a tiny math lesson with some people. So you can put that in the comments or on Flipgrid. So if you think that you might be a friend that wants to do math with me tomorrow, go on Flipgrid and say, Ms. Finn, can I be in that math group too? So I know. All right. Last but not least, social studies. Let's take a look. Pink slides today are the slides you'll be doing. You'll watch this video. Then you'll ask a question and tell me one fact. Learn. Then you'll watch this video by Miss Zazula, and inside will be that gentleman that shows you all the cool things about how the Lenape lived. And then since you're learning about jobs and what jobs the family members had, they want uh, we want you to just think of what job you would pick after you learned everything. If you were a boy or a girl living in a Lene Lenape time, what would you want to do as a community member? What job would you want? Okay, as always, do not forget when you're in your Google agenda slides right now watching this video. Over here is the link to Flipgrid. Over here is the link to James and the Giant Peach, which everyone needs to catch up by Monday. And when you click on your attendance here, don't forget to write your name and then three to five friends that you might want to see in your Friendship Friday Google Meet group. I am so excited to see you all in the upcoming days. Great job, everyone. And I will talk with you soon on Flipgrid or in the comments. Goodbye.